Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. All right, today we're gonna to be talking about all things Milwaukee and specifically the Milwaukee heated jackets and their heated gear line. Let's check it out. All right, so what's going on guys? My name is Brian here with Brian's Law Maintenance. My channel is all about helping you guys grow a more successful lawn care landscaping business. So if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe. And if you guys are not lawn care landscapers, no big deal, right? We're gonna be talking about the Milwaukee heated gear line. I got a lot of things that I think will cross over into different industries. If you're a construction guy, a contractor, so on and so forth. So here's the deal, uh, none of this uh, is sponsored by Milwaukee. Uh, some of the product was seeded, but some of it I've also purchased on my own after the last three or four years. So we have a little bit of everything, right? We've got the quilted jackets, we've got the soft shell jackets, the gridiron, we've got the gloves, so on and so forth, right? So I wanna kinda go uh, in depth talking to you guys about the durability, the uh, color uh, selections, the quality, the batteries, just all the FAQs I keep getting about the Milwaukee heated gear line. So many of you guys have been asking me for an update video because the last one I did, believe it or not, was about four years ago, and I actually did it in my driveway uh, way back when, when we first started YouTube. I don't even think we had 100 subscribers, which is really funny. So here's what I wanna do. I wanna take the next 10 minutes and talk to you guys a little bit more about the jackets and everything that's available from Milwaukee. Again, not sponsored by any means, uh, but just to give you guys a little bit more of the lay of the land if you want a good resource, something that's new, something that's fresh that you guys can relate to and get some information on. All right, so let's go just around the block here. We'll talk about the jackets first. We'll talk about the heavier duty jackets as we go. And then I'll wrap up with the gloves, the hats, the accessories and all that mess. Now, for a lot of you guys, you guys do what I do. We're, we're long hair landscapers. We're out there in the fall, the winter. It gets cold, man. And I'll tell you what, uh, I do not like the cold. Okay, I live in Michigan here. Uh, when it gets to about the 40s and 30s, I turn into a little girl. I'm just having fun. Uh, and I, I really don't like the cold. Uh, my hands, I don't know if you guys can relate, but when my hands get cold, they hurt. I mean, they get numb, they get numb pretty quick. So I'm always having uh, heated gloves and uh, extra layers on. And so the Milwaukee heated line, when it was introduced to me about three or four years ago, um, I said this was awesome and it was a game changer to uh, our industry and folks that work outdoors. Little inside joke there if you guys know the word game changer. So here's the deal. Uh, I wanna talk to you about, first off, the quilted jackets. Now, don't quote me on the exact price for everything here, but pretty much all of it's gonna be about 150 to 200, 220. I'll try to leave some affiliate links and all that mess uh, in the description. We don't have any direct sponsorships or partnerships, like I said, so I'll just try to leave some stuff that is a good resource. Like I said, completely unbiased here. Uh, but let's talk about the quilted jackets, because I think this is where a lot of folks start. Um, these guys right here, it is a nice, soft jacket. I will tell you guys straight up, this is probably my go-to jacket uh, the last two winters, because I like Milwaukee, I like the ability to turn on the heated part of the coat. Um, it's just a really nice jacket overall. Uh, overall. It's 150, 179 bucks, right? The, the problem I have though with this jacket is that it is a little soft, okay? This kind of material here, um, it's just, it, it can get poked by sticks and branches and it can tear pretty easily. So if you're a contractor working in housing and uh, you're building homes and the whole mess, uh, very easy for this to get hit with a loose nail, uh, a sharp piece of edge with uh, you know some wood, some framing, and it's gonna tear, it's gonna shred. Now, if you're, if you're looking for a nice heated jacket and you don't want a, so, uh, a hard shell jacket, a soft shell jacket, where it's a little bit more cumbersome, you want something that's light, you're in and out of the truck a lot, maybe you're a foreman or something like that, this would probably be the jacket for you. Now, one question I get asked a lot is sizing. Are these pretty true fit? I'm 5'10", 170, well, 180 after the holidays, <laughs> 180 pounds. Um, these are true fit. So here's the deal. If you guys are a large, wear a large. If you're an extra large, grab the XL. In my experience, um, they're pretty true fit. So this being said, my jackets are usually medium, and even when I throw on a hoodie, uh, I have enough space to have this jacket not be too snug. I feel like these might run like a size larger. There's like maybe 20% wiggle room. Knowing that guys like us are probably gonna be layering up. If you're wearing a heated jacket, you're probably outdoors, you're probably uh, in the elements. So more than likely you're having a long sleeve or a hoodie, kind of like myself. I'll throw it out really quick so you guys can see what it looks like. Now, this comes in a variety of different colors. Like I said, this was my jacket from last year, the black one. Uh, I think Milwaukee did send this to me. And as you can see, I'm 5'10", I'm a medium. Uh, we got the, the hoodie on right now. And this jacket right here, you can see that, for the most part, it fits 
pretty nice, pretty snug. There's there's some wiggle room I can move around. It's it's really nice. There's it's not like constricting. I don't feel like when I move the sleeves that it's gonna pull on the wrist, so on and so forth. Uh, really nice overall jacket. I will say this. I don't like the fact that this material can pull and get snagged so easily. So this was actually my new one that Milwaukee did seat us uh, this year. And it's a really nice jacket. I was so excited to get it. It's like a, a hunter green, I don't really know, like an olive, I think. Um, but unfortunately, you guys can see, I'll show you up some close-ups. We have a lot of tears on the quilt because we got Bradford pear trees that we go under. Uh, you know, we're doing leaf cleanups with spring and fall cleanups. So we're doing some fall cleanups and man, I was getting sticked by uh, different tree branches that were coming down and it poked the heck out of this jacket. So we got a lot of tears. If uh, you can take it to uh, a seamstress, a sewer, uh, somebody who knows how to sew, I know they can fix this stuff pretty easily. That's kind of my only major concern with the quilted jackets. Now, a lot of the jackets that have the uh, heated coils on the chest, the back, sometimes the neck, um, so you're going to uh, get warmth all across the jacket. Now, I know the soft shell jacket, it's got it for the glove, uh, for the for the hands, for the warmers, for the pockets, which is really cool. So let's talk about those here up next. Well, let's just drop them down here. Let's look at our soft shells. Now, this is probably the jacket that most of you guys are looking at when you go to uh, Home Depot, you go to different websites online. The soft shell jacket, that's probably my go-to jacket if I was gonna buy a Milwaukee heated uh, piece of equipment uh, or, or clothing. So. Same thing, the battery, it's gonna go in the back pocket here. Uh, use the M12 battery system. Uh, you get about three to four hours on high. Anybody who says you get more than that is lying to you, just having fun. Uh, but as you guys know, it pops into the back here with the M12 system. Boom, you're good to go, put it in the pocket. It's actually like kind of in the back left area, I think maybe like where your kidneys are, I don't know if that's where it's at, but in the back left. So if you're sitting in your truck, you can see it and feel it and notice it, um, but it's not like in the back of your back where you're like, man, I, I gotta ride, you know, 30 minutes to a job site across town. I don't want that, you know, smashing my back the whole time. So it is offset and you can actually still, if you got some decent mobility, grab it from behind um, and then plug in a new battery or swap it out, so on and for so forth. Um, about three to four hours on high, maybe a little bit longer on uh, the, the lighter settings, which is like, uh, you know, warm, warmer and hottest, if you will. You got the three different colors, the blue, the white and the red for low, medium, high, if you will. Now, one thing I'll say too is that with these kind of jackets, you're not usually keeping them on the whole time, right? So uh, usually what I do is I throw this jacket on, I'm out there working, it's really cold, it's 20 degrees some of the mornings when we're doing our leaf cleanups, if you will. Um, I use these to take the sting out of being cold outside. So before I get moving, I'm not warmed up, I'll put the heated jacket on for maybe about 30 minutes to an hour and you'll feel, because it's pretty snug, you'll start to warm up pretty quickly. I'd say in about 20 minutes to a half hour. Now, after that, <laughs> to be honest with you guys, if you're working in any capacity, you're uh, doing sheetrock, you're you know in construction, you're doing landscaping like myself, um, you're going to start sweating your butt off, to be honest with you guys. I usually throttle it down to the white setting or the blue setting if I'm gonna leave it on at all. But usually, I'll put it on first thing in the morning, uh, turn the jacket on, we'll go to lunch, we cool off, we, we, you know, we're not as hot because we're not working, we get back out there one, two o'clock, and then usually I turn the jacket back on. So, again, one battery I think is gonna last you most of the day. If you have a mobile charger or uh, if you have a, a cigarette lighter charger for the Milwaukee batteries that you have in your truck like I do, I have about three batteries that I'm always rotating, one on the charger, I got two in the door, uh, door jam of my truck. So we always have fresh batteries for the coats. Now, this jacket right here, it's a little bit heavier. This is probably what you're looking for if you're gonna be working outdoors day to day. This jacket right here, it's gonna be able to take the pokes and uh, you know, uh, sticks of, uh, of nails or uh, tree branches, so on and so forth. You got plenty of room if you got a hoodie on, which is cool. You guys can see here, zips up really nice. This is a heavy duty jacket. I, I really like this jacket. In fact, here's what I'll say. Don't buy this jacket if you want to get stopped all the time. That is the only reason to probably not buy the Milwaukee heated jackets. And I'm not being like biased or anything like that. I'm just saying it's a really nice coat. I get more compliments wearing this coat when I gotta go bear the elements with the wife, i.e. go shopping, right? <laughs> and uh, more than likely, uh, I'm gonna get stopped by some guy, especially if I have the light on. It's like a fishing lure to like other contractors. And like low key all the time, guys come up to me and they're like, hey dude, is that the uh, Milwaukee heated jacket? Uh, the one with the, the battery? I'm going, yeah dude, it is. He goes, all right, cool man, I thought so. I love your jacket, like I wanna get one. I'm like, dude, they're 200 bucks, but totally worth it, right? 
Um, because when the red light's on, it just draws attention and eyeballs and everybody wants one. And you know, heated, heated gear for uh, just, I, I would imagine that industry in general is probably on the come up big time because it, it makes sense to have a heated battery with you uh, or a heated jacket with you when you're living in the Midwest because let's be honest, when it's 10 degrees outside, you could die out there. <laughs> so I'm just having fun. But this jacket right here, this is the gray uh, uh, soft shell. It's really nice, adjustable straps if you want to reduce the airflow from coming in, maybe you're working outdoors, which is nice. Uh, for me, we have no problem wearing even the thickest uh, Milwaukee heated gloves. I'm gonna make sure I zip this up. You got the little strap you can pull to get a little lasso here, pull it on. And as you guys can see, it completely covers the coat. Like they thought this through. The, the uh, glove itself doesn't ride onto the jacket so it's getting scrunched up and you can't like have any like motion with your wrist because it's pinched. So these gloves were great going right on top. Same thing with the regular gloves and I bought these and all this mess too because uh, they never seeded my samples but that's a whole other joke. <laughs> so anyway, same thing. Your glove right here, it fits inside. You have no issue with mobility if you're wearing this jacket with any of the accessories, uh, like accessory heated products that Milwaukee has. Now, here's one thing I'll say though. If you guys are looking at these jackets, the gray is fine, the black is fine, but me, I like the color red. However, as you guys would imagine, some colors are gonna show wear and tear a little bit more than other colors. So. My encouragement would be get the darker gray or get the black because I'll show you my red jacket. Here is, and I'll do a close up so you guys can really see it. You'll have to get close to see it on camera to see the difference. This is a brand new jacket. Um, they sent me this one like two, three years ago. I already had one, so I never really opened it up to be honest with you. Opened it up for this video. We wore it a little bit, I think, early spring and then I threw on my new gray one because you guys can see how beautiful red this is. It's a super nice jacket, right? Um, and I'm not trying to be a diva here because I work outdoors with you guys, but you want your things to last and to look nice, right? Well, this right here is one that I wore all winter about two years ago, and you guys can see the marks, the stains, it's dingy. Um, the red will definitely show more color, more wear and tear. You guys can see all the black on the sleeves. Now this is from doing snow removal, leaf cleanups. For example, my wrist, my sleeve area, anytime uh, we were doing leaf cleanups and the mower that I use gets jammed up on that vacuum system, I'm you know, digging all this stuff out, just wrenching all this, like just literally, I call it a smoothie, all the brown and green you know, leaf dust with uh, all the wet you know, morning dew. Well, this jacket is trash. Like you wouldn't wear this out in public because it looks a, little, looks a little like, you know, beat up obviously, right? So here's the deal though, the gray one has worn really, really well. Um, we've done the exact same thing this fall with the gray jacket and you can't even tell that we've beat the snot out of it Even though we've put it through the exact same ringer. So um, with this kind of uh, gear the red looks cool um, If you're if you're into that go for it But in my estimation that my opinion I probably go more with a gray or a black option if you guys are shopping uh, for the coats now Gosh a lot to cover I try to make this concise as possible for you guys Let's talk about something that's not heated jacket, but it is still worth mentioning, and that is the gridiron jacket from Milwaukee. Um, we don't use this jacket a whole ton, uh, just because when I do plow snow, we're jumping in and out of the truck, I like a little bit more mobility. And I'll be honest with you, if you're wearing this uh, gridiron, the ripstop polyester jacket, uh, again, 150 to 200 bucks, you will sweat in this jacket. Like, if you're outdoors, like career construction, and you're out there the whole time, like, you know, 20, 30 degree days, you got the, the bibs, we got the bibs upstairs, um, and then this jacket, you will be good to go. If you wear this jacket and you're doing moderate to light work, maybe snow plowing, you're in and out, or uh, you're going in and inside a, a, an office building, a, a, you know, a warehouse or a, a factory, I don't know if you want to wear this jacket. You might want to go with a soft shell um, because that'll be plenty warm for you and you can turn the battery on. This one right here, you will literally sweat your butt off. Let me throw this on. Same exact scenario here. It's pretty true fit. So again, I'm a medium, 5'10", 175. We got a hoodie on with a, with a shirt underneath and it fits just fine, right? So it's got the zipper, metal zippers all the way around, which is nice. You can button up for a little extra um, uh, durability and just keeping it together. Big wide open sleeves, because if you're gonna have these big gloves on or you know contractor gloves, or some leather gloves or something like that, plenty of space. This one does have the little uh, scrunch uh, material in here to keep the wind out, which is nice. Um, some of the gloves I feel are gonna ride into that a little bit, but definitely cuts down on the wind. But again, you're probably wearing this outdoors in the elements. So something to think about. This one is not heated. There's no coils, there's no battery in this one. But 
really, really nice jacket. This is probably more for the co career construction guy outside. Now, let's talk about some of the accessories really quick and we'll wrap this up. I know I'm talking fast, but I don't want to take you guys' whole day. Um, by the way, if you guys are appreciating this video, let me know. Please shoot the video a big thumbs up. It really helps me, it really helps the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting the subscribe button, like I said earlier, because we are doing reviews uh, a bunch with different OPE and outdoor power equipment. So if you guys are new here, consider that. Let's talk about the hats as we wrap up. Now, this is the Milwaukee beanie. I don't know what you guys else would call it, the little skull beanie, whatever. Um, these things are super nice. In fact, I bought this one this year because my other one from last year is a little bit more trashed. Um, I beat the snot out of my equipment. I'm telling you guys straight up. Um, but these are probably the nicest beanie or hat that I've worn out of any of them. And I've t I'm telling you, I've spent hundreds if not thousands of dollars on you know cold weather equipment and, and clothing because for real, I hate being cold. So this one right here, uh, it's probably 20 or 30 bucks. I got them at Home Depot, right? Um, if you're having like a little North Face one that or Under Armour that you guys have worn these, you know, in times past and these work, that's fine. Uh, you get these for 20 bucks, but spend five or ten dollars more. Get the Milwaukee one, um, super nice. It's got like this fleece material on the inside. You guys will love it. Last two things I'll wrap up with are gloves because if we're talking heated gear, we might as well talk about gloves because we're working outdoors. Um, these are the new Milwaukee, uh, I have no idea what the name of them are. These are the gloves that are for outdoors, right? Um, they have a little bit of uh, rubber protection on the knuckles, which is nice. Uh, these right here, I have worn these all through fall to do our fall cleanups. Now, they're not waterproof or anything like that, but they are fleeced inside, so they do stay warm. This is usually what I wear when I'm shoveling snow, if I have to jump out of the truck to tag up a sidewalk or you know a back door with an access point for shoveling now if it's really really cold out there and you're gonna be pulling 10 12 15 18 hours or you're on a shovel crew or so on and so forth this is the the gauntlets right these more it's almost like I could snap my fingers in these right that's what these feel like this is a, a hardcore leather glove that's from Milwaukee um, the battery pack goes in where the zipper spot is right here you got the ability to turn them on my batteries are probably dead um, but again, same concept. It's the uh, blue, white, and red to turn the batteries on. Super heavy duty gloves, but these are not cheap. 150, 200 bucks again. So something to consider um, if you want to invest in a nice pair of gloves. I won't say that they're the, the warmest heated glove. I have a, a competitor brand. Um, I don't think the Milwaukee ones are uh, you know, an A, if you will, in the heating category, I, I give them a solid B. Um, but if you have the heating element with them and the fact that there's like a nice thick leather glove and you're just a big Milwaukee fan and fanboy like myself, then I think you'll, you'll really enjoy these. Now, all things being said, I don't think you can go wrong with anything that we've shown here on the table. The gloves, solid. The beanies, solid. The gloves, uh, again, the, the just the regular work gloves, these are solid. We bought a lot of this stuff on our own. Uh, the jackets were seated to us, but we've, we've beat the snot out of them, to be honest with you guys. Um, I don't have any incentive to promote them to you guys. I'm just telling you straight up. I get so many questions uh, from you guys about the Milwaukee Heated Gear line. And so the last video I did was about four years ago. So I guess we're kind of due to do a, a re-up. All things being said, I want to know what jackets you guys have and which jackets you guys love. Do you guys like the soft shells behind me? Or do you like the quilted jackets? By the way, there's a lot of female uh, jackets out there, which is great too. So if uh, you're a lady contractor or your wife is working outdoors with you, great options for them as well. I think some of their designs actually look a little bit better too, which which is good for the ladies, right? Um, do you guys rock the, the gridiron, the ripstop polyester, the soft shell? I think overwhelmingly a majority of us are going to be rocking the soft shell jacket let's just be honest this is a another medium fits great works great and i think this is something that you guys are going to want to have in your arsenal as you go out there you cut grass do the deal work on houses whatever you guys are into the glove warmers they're decent not the warmest either but it'll take the sting out again with the jacket so all right guys that's it brian here brian's law maintenance appreciate you guys big time leave me a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the video Took a lot and it's actually pretty cold in my studio right now. So I need to throw the jacket on, throw the battery on and warm up. <laughs> so, all right guys, that's it. Over and out. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate you big time. We'll catch you guys on the next video.